Okay, what am I supposed to talk about? Why aren't you in class? Good morning. My name is John Finley Scott. This whole interview is a result of the fact that when I was a sophomore in college, long ago, 1952 and 53 in fact, I got the idea of seeing what I could do to build a bicycle that would be fairly well adapted to operation on dirt roads and what we now call single tracks and trails. So I started with a single tube, I believe it was a Schwinn, but I'm not certain, a diamond frame, conventional frame, about 21 and a half inches tall, 22 and a half inches long on the top tube, um, laid back angles of those days, uh, what we call gas pipe construction, Astabula one-piece crank, but it was sized to take balloon tires. So I then built up some balloon tires by the simple procedure of going out and buying some rims, heavy steel rims, and not very good ones at that were all that was available in those days. Uh, the tires, um, they weren't too bad because the kids would get mean looking tires to make their bike look tough, so you had an aggressive off-road tread with, uh, without going to any great trouble. The, um, trickier problems had to do with the gearing. So I decided to see what I could do with a Sturmey Archer four-speed hub. So I promptly screwed a freewheel onto it, pound it down to lock it up, used the Sturmey freewheel. There was a design problem. Sturmey hubs are not very strong and with the extra torque of the low gear, I must have gone through three or four axles on this bike that probably did not accumulate 500 miles during the entire operating lifetime. What I found from the original balloon tire bike was that it was best regarded as a proof of concept idea. Um, it showed that the big tires worked, it showed that low gears really paid off, but the thing weighed 46 or 47 pounds and it was really it was hard to transport, let alone ride up a hill. These uh, many people that were working out of Marin County repeated to a large extent the kind of design I came up with because the components, at least for large tire bicycles, had changed very little from 1953 to 1973 or even 75. 